We learn that besides integrating with the environment where I break all of my limitations, there is nothing else to do. And then, either I do it or I don't, as it says, chivruta or mituta, together or not at all. So, therefore, the work in the ten, uh, in the work in the ten, and also Rabash, how meticulous about it he is, where we are, according to that, we can see where we are. Are we doing the work of the Creator or not? And it's a wonder how simply we can touch it and be in it, each and every one of us, on the one hand, and on the other hand, how in- incapable of holding on to it we are that we're willing to exchange the concept of the spiritual work for different other concepts that I'm willing to manage something in society, I'm willing to care for society, to do different chores for them, repairs, something, but not that I will push myself to annul my ego. Mm, To really... How to put this? To make room for them to control me. Because in those desires, in those thoughts, where I make room for them to control me, after that, in that same place, comes and clothes the Creator in those same qualities. I perform the corrections with the Ten, and after these corrections, the Creator can already come and clothe in those corrections. It's called, I dwell within my people. Why within my people? Because to the measure to which I have developed in me um, a place for the Ten, In that place, in that description, I discover the Creator. There are no longer any limitations in that place. Time, space, movement. I annul myself in order to integrate with them, so I've canceled the boundaries, and so the entire thought of creation from beginning to end and end to beginning, everything's included in it and it can clothe in me beyond any limitations.